Hello boys and girls, we're so excited that you're here at Upward Sports. Today we're going to talk about penalties in basketball. None of us like to do something wrong and get caught. But in basketball, if you don't follow the rules, you will eventually get caught, be called on a, by a ref for a foul. If you break these rules, you are in trouble. So let's talk about the rules, first of all, of basketball. Many of you know that breaking a rule is called a foul. And the one who enforces those rules is a referee. And a referee has many different signs for different fouls. For example, if you double dribble, you travel, or you maybe you hit someone or foul somebody as they're shooting. And the ref, he blows the whistle. And he says, hey, you did something wrong. You fouled. You hit somebody, you knocked them over, brought out of the game. You have to sit on the bench and you can no longer play. And the worst thing can happen is you get a technical foul where you're thrown out. For example, you're not, when you drive a car, you're not supposed to go over the speed limit. And if a police officer catches you, he gives you a ticket and you got to pay a penalty. You got to pay a fine. And the worst thing that could happen is if you do something really bad, you could be arrested where the police officer puts handcuffs on you and you end up in jail. So there's penalties in basketball, there's penalties in life, and we need to have reverence and respect for these rules and laws. Well, God gave us rules and laws like the Ten Commandments. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make any images or idols. You should not say God's name in vain. Keep the Sabbath. Honor your father and mother. Don't kill. Don't commit adultery. Don't steal. Don't lie. Don't uh, uh, bear false witness. Don't covet. But you know, if we commit these penalties, which are called sin, and God keeps a record of them, he's the ref, you'll go to hell. Now, we all deserve to go to hell. The Bible says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, and the wages of sin is death. Hell is in the center of the earth. It was prepared for the devil and his angels. But God doesn't want us to go there. He wants us to go to heaven. But the only way we can go to heaven is we got to get all those sins forgiven. The only way our sins can be forgiven is if we believe that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son and Jesus died on the cross. And you can see in this picture, this little child is trying to say, hey, I want to get to paradise. I don't want to fall into hell. So how do I get there? Well, you cross the bridge of the cross of Jesus Christ. That is, you believe that Jesus died for you on the cross. He took all our sins. He took my sins and he was buried. And three days later, he rose again. And if if you'll believe that Jesus died, was buried, and rose again, you can be saved. Now, here's a picture of uh, what the Bible says, and we see God gave instructions to Adam and Eve, enjoy life, serve me, fellowship with me, but don't eat of this tree of knowledge of good and evil. Well, Eve and Adam ate of the fruit of the tree, and they became sinners. And as a result, you can see we're all sinners, Adam and Eve, their children, and here we are, we're all sinners now. Uh, you, thousands of years later, we're all walking down the road of life, we're all sinners, we're dirty, we're filthy, we know how to sin, we know how to do bad things and guess what we're walking down the road broad way that leads to destruction which leads to hell if we die in our sins all stinky and smelly inside we'll go to hell prepared for the devil and his angels but there is a narrow way to escape notice that door on the left if you escape you can believe on the lord jesus christ and here we see three children looking inside they say hey let's check this out we don't want to go to hell and so they're looking at the gospel how jesus died for us was buried rose again and want the two boy, the boy and the girl, they say, hey, we believe that Jesus died for us. We want him in our heart. The other boy says, I don't believe that stuff. You guys want to be washed in the blood of Jesus. That's okay, but I'm out of here. I don't believe that stuff. So he leaves. Isn't that sad? We don't want that to happen to you or to me. So boys and girls, please make sure you realize there's penalties in basketball. There's penalties in life. Thank God if you believe in Jesus and ask him into your heart, he can save you and cleanse you and make you whole and give you eternal life. So let's play basketball and follow the Lord.